Hey everybody, it's Ted here. I um, wanted to go over a little video on alpha lower units and the importance of the shift mechanism for the lower unit here. This is an R drive and I'm going to go over how the shift mechanism works and show you a little bit about uh, how it interacts with the shift cutout switch in the cable. So let's get started here. So let's go over how this works. So basically what you have is you have this input gear, which is your pinion gear, and it rotates all the time while the engine's running. So in an alpha drive, the input gear is driven by the engine, that drives another gear that drives the drive shaft in the lower unit there coupled together. That drives this pinion gear, and that pinion gear drives the forward and the reverse gears in the drive. So these turn all the time. So this drive is in gear right now, just hold the prop shaft and you can see that the bolt gears are turning, the pinion gear is turning, and they're turning in opposite directions. Now, the shift mechanism is a rotating shift shaft and it moves a, a, a lever inside it's connected to, which moves the sliding clutch, we call it. For an example, I can show you here. So this is a simple uh, outboard lower unit, an older one, which gives you the idea of that shift mechanism. So shaft comes down to an arm, it rotates, and it rotates the arm, which moves the clutch back and forth inside the lower unit. That engages the receiving uh, teeth in the inside of the gear on the forward gear or the reverse gear. So this just gives you an idea that that sliding clutch and outboards and a lot of stern drives, especially Cobras and Alpha, that all happens down here in the lower unit. So why do we need a shift cutout switch? Well the reason is this clutch that's in here on this sliding clutch and the actual receiving, we call them clutch balls, on each gear is angled. So it's not square, it doesn't engage in a square slot like this. The actual end of these clutch balls are actually angled inward and the receiving uh, clutch ball for the actual gear is angled so that it interfaces with it in a positive way. So when this clutch is engaged to this rotating gear, the gear is rotating, when I rotate that clutch into a gear, it will engage that gear and drive the drive shaft. Now, because the engine is driving the gears, all of them are turning simultaneously. There's a load on these gears because you have a prop shaft. So, to take that clutch and pull it away from that gear, because of the way that the clutch balls are angled, they interface and they come together positively. So basically what I like to try to explain is, the gear is rotating with the clutch balls on it, the clutch is on the prop shaft, and when I engage it, they lock together. And they're angled in such a way that they're actually hooked together. Now what I wanna do is I wanna pull this clutch out of the gear. So what I need to do is slide it on the prop shaft, but because these are hooked together, I can't pull it apart. So when you shift an alpha drive into gear, it's a very, very positive locking mechanism. And it locks that gear if it's loaded so that it does not want to come apart while the engine's rotating. So when the engine's running and you want to shift it out of gear, you want to put it in neutral, what I need to do is I need to slow this gear down. I can't slow the prop shaft down, but if I slow the gear down, then what I can do is I can actually take that and I can slow the gear down and I can pull the clutch out. That's where the shift cutout switch comes in. So when you go to shift out of gear, what happens is you have two cables. One is from the helm and the other one goes down to the drive and it shifts that mechanism in the drive. And when I try to pull that clutch out, I can't because it's positively locked in. So what happens is this cable that goes down to the drive doesn't want to move, but I'm trying to shift the drive, so I'm pulling on this cable. Now that 
pulling on that cable is trying to move this arm. That in turn, so that in turn, when I try to pull the shift cable back, I pull this back. I'm trying to move this cable, but this is locked in place so the cable doesn't want to move. So if I'm trying to pull that cable in, this cable does that. So it has a hinge point here. This is the shift cutout switch. And that shift cutout switch is wired up to the negative side of the coil and then it's to this block and that goes to ground. So I momentarily try to shift it out of gear and it won't, it won't move, the clutch won't move. So what, what happens is as you move it, this grounds the ignition which slows the engine down. When it slows the engine down, you can shift it out of gear. So that little click sound every time you shift the drive in an alpha drive is this mechanism making that sound. So I went over this in previous videos of why the cable needs to be changed because of the problem with the bell housing and the shift shaft. You can look at the previous videos. Um, that cable, if it drags, when you go to pull it out of gear, it stays in that position too long and that grounds the ignition too long when the engine stalls. So sliding clutches in alpha drives need a shift cutout switch to shift it out of gear. If you have a alpha that is stalling coming out of gear, especially in reverse first, and then if it stalls coming out of forward, and then it stalls every time you shift it, you need a shift cable and you need a shift shaft seal. It's not the shift cutout switch. So now what happens is somebody doesn't know how this works and what happens is it stalls going into gear. So what they want to do is they want to come up here and they want to mess with the, cut, the cutout switch, the shift cutout switch, or they just disconnect it entirely. Well, now the problem is you can't get the drive out of gear when you're trying to shift it. And that typically bends and breaks things. So it's important for this cable to be changed and the shift shaft seal to be changed in order for this to activate very rapidly. So when I shift it out of gear, shift it into gear, and then shift it out of gear, this just springs back and forth and that allows the engine to slow down and for you to get that clutch to move out of gear. So I hope this helps you understand a little bit about how the shifting mechanism in an alpha drive works. Um, and how those positive shift uh, pulls on the clutch and on the actual gears works. One other note to make sure that the owners of the boat as well as technicians understand is these drives, when you shift them into gear like any outboard, if it has a sliding clutch in it, you should shift it positively into gear, nice solid fluid motion. Don't slowly drag it into gear. So if somebody is shifting very slowly, they are gonna wear those clutch dogs out. You're gonna need a new clutch and you're gonna need new gears in a lower unit. If a drive will not stay into gear, uh, if an alpha drive will not stay into gear, pops out of gear, it's either A, not adjusted right, or those clutch paws are rounded over. And that means you have to take the drive apart and put new gears and new clutches in it. So I'm hoping this helps you understand about this particular application shift cutout switch and about how the clutch works in an alpha drive. Uh, hit that like button, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.